Kafka to the top for Davio. Over is Edwards. Down low, Royston. Royston with a look up. Playing it on to Spence all the way to the top. Davio working the line. Davio on for Edwards to the slot. Spence batted on and they score. Wesley Royston. Puck cartwheeling through the air. And it's first blood drawn for the Erie Otters. The Otters come in 24.5% on the power play. That's, that's one in every four, Reed. I'll do the math there for you. I appreciate that. And you can see 32 seconds into this double minor, they score. So they're going to get another full two minutes off of this. And just an unfortunate bounce. Leanders made the first save. Puck bounced up. Sauter tossing it around the back of the goal. Davio along and out. Alfano, nice little chip. Davio into the rush. Davio had a great game when these two teams met in Erie last year. Alexi Davio scores! On cue. Out of nowhere, Alexi Davio on the right wing boards, throws it towards the front of the net, and it's 2-0 for the Otters on a funky angle. Yeah, we'll get a look here on the replay, but senses on that first live look where he did a beat leaners on the short side. Davio, you're going to see him go a little bit of a lap here around the offensive zone and then just sort of posts up and fires it, whether it hit something on the way through, but it clearly fooled Ryerson Leanders. Looked like he had, it just came up. Mishak tosses back to the front, was deflected on the way through, Leanders was able to turn that away. Schaefer on to Femis. Avery out of the box after serving the too many men, even in full five on five. Mishak for Femis, backside, Terrence scores! The Otters still had four forwards on the ice that paid off for them. When Avery went straight to the bench for the change, Erie had just gained possession and they actually had a, a man advantage heading in. Avery was likely instructed to go straight to the bench off that situation, I would think. But that also created that extra little space there and Durant's makes sure. Yeah, you're gonna see the right of your screen just by the Gatorade G, Avery heading off. And the Bulldogs are outnumbered by a man in their own zone. And Kerry Terrence isn't going to miss with that kind of time and space. That over the top. Leanders trying to give the Bulldogs every opportunity to get back into this one. O'Brien, right circle. Wanted to leave that off. Got intercepted. Lavoie holds it in. Left circle. Brown stepping inside. His shot. Rebound. Scores! Big save from Ryerson Leanders. Jake O'Brien. Goes the other way and deposits. Three to one. And O'Brien Norm picking up his sixth of the season and once again goes back ahead of his assist number. Yeah, just good offensive zone shift here by the Bulldogs to keep that set alive. Good play there by Zachary Lavoie to keep it in. Goes cross ice. Brown just kind of dangling there in the slot. Rebound comes right out to O'Brien, who's in the right spot. And the man who usually plays provider is finisher on that play in Jake O'Brien. Uh, it is extremely difficult to beat Noah or Leiden straight on. It's going to take more. We welcome you back inside the Brantford Civic Center. Norm, we got faked out. Right. The horn blew in the arena and they started to send the ice cleaning crew on and the timing was off as Testa scores! Well, you're back in time! Luca Testa on the doorstep. It's three to two. Well, I was gonna say coming out of break, for the Bulldogs, it starts with one and they build on that quickly. This goal just comes a little over a minute and a half, a little over a couple minutes, sorry, after that goal by Jake O'Brien. And some good work here by Avery, just persisted on the four check, does just enough, nice little skate the stick transition there by Luca Testa, and what a shot from in tight. To be Bars, it's a tie game, Zachary Lavoie. Jake O'Brien manipulating time and space. And Lavoie strikes. Zachary Lavoie came in tonight with two goals and three assists. 
and he's contributed two points here in this comeback here in the second period to tie the game. What a move here though by Jake O'Brien, 44. You're gonna see him in the center of your screen. Holds like he's gonna shoot, and then just a little reverse pass. And Lavoie has time to pick his spot and tie this game at three. Just like we saw early path. Thomas for Hamra. Left circle. Hamra collected, but Terrance sent that one up ahead on the steal. Now Spence shorthanded to the front. Scores! Otters take the lead right back. Malcolm Spence. And this game continues to go back and forth. Well, Bulldogs got caught a little flat-footed. Homer rotated down low, and Juracic was the last man back. And the way that play came out, Spence had a step on him where Juracic was on, had been out there for a minute plus, and just did not have the legs to catch Malcolm Spence. You can see him there trying to get back. I mean, Great move there, confident offensive move by Malcolm Spence, who just goes cross, waits out leanders, and deposits. 